This story begins with one desperate grandmother in a far-flung northern Russian republic called Chuvash. Her grandson Kirill was diagnosed with a horrible genetic disease called osteopetrosis, petrifying bone. He was already blind and the doctor said he would soon go deaf and soon after die. The grandmother, a cleaning woman who only knew Russian, searched the internet. She found the name Hadassah and sent a letter in Russian. The next day, she received an answer back in Russian, I can help your grandson. Kirill's life was saved by Hadassah hematologist and researcher Polina Stepensky, whose family came to Israel when Russian Jews were set free. Working together with geneticist Professor Orly L. Peleg, Dr. Stepensky's research has been published in the world's top journals. She had already cured hundreds of children in Israel with genetic diseases. They told me that forget about medicine. You cannot be a medicine because in Israel, only genius graduating medical school. And I went to nursing school in Rambam. I came to Adassa in 1994 and started my university study here at Adassa. And finally, I graduated Hebrew University Medical School. And I did all my professional career here at Adassa. Meet Gleb and his mother Svetlana, a pediatric neurologist. We never thought of this disease when our two-month-old was sick. We were told he had some atrophy of the optic nerve, maybe hydrocephalus, but the diagnosis was wrong and he got worse. The doctor said it might be osteopetrosis. Because I'm a doctor, I consulted the top professor in Moscow. He shook his head. Gleb's case was hopeless. I can't express all my love, respect, and admiration for Dr. Stepensky. We are so thankful for all the help. Thousands of children are saved, among them our beloved son. Meet Ivan and his mother Irina, an advertising executive from Ukraine, not far from where Dr. Stepensky grew up. When Ivan was born, we thought everything was okay. But within the first month, his skin became rough, he couldn't eat and stayed small. We went from doctor to doctor, but no one knew what was wrong with him. They tried blood transfusions and steroids, but he just got sicker and sicker. We read about Hadassah on the Russian internet. Our health service wouldn't cover it, so we had to raise the money online. When we arrived, Dr. Polina Stepensky sent us for genetic tests. It turns out Ivan has a rare autoimmune disease that makes the body attack itself. She explained that bone marrow transplantation was our only hope. What do I dream for him? Before Hadassah, no one believed he would survive. I just savor each day with my son who is now cured. Children with osteopetrosis usually lose their vision by the time they're one year old. Gleb is doing quite well. The treatments that Dr. Stefanski is doing uh, save whatever is left of their vision when they come to us. At the beginning, diseases were very different. The, uh, the, Conditions in Israel were very different, the population was different. Um, the department had to deal with trachoma, which we don't see anymore. We see mostly what is seen in the Western world. Diabetic retinopathy, age-related macular degeneration, glaucoma. The future in ophthalmology, as in medicine, is mostly in genetic therapy and stem cell research, which is going to help us deal with the most severe diseases in ophthalmology. And I think it is one of the secrets here, that we are doing all these things together, research and clinical work. And the women of Fadasa contributed a lot. They built this place. What were the odds that a Russian-speaking doctor in a hospital in Jerusalem would find a cure for a disease incurable in a huge, sophisticated country like Russia? Hadassah Research, saving lives despite the odds. When we say, may light come from Zion, we mean the Hadassah light of healing. Healing, teaching, and research. Hadassah's credo, against all odds.